This is a limited irrigation research farm where we're trying to understand how we can maintain high crop yields with less water. We're measuring our irrigations, which are different. I mean, you go 50 feet away and it's, it's completely different than what you'll get here. Uh, we're measuring energy balance or the, the actual vapor that's coming off of the crop. Uh, we're measuring sap flow that's going through the plant itself. We're measuring uh, soil water status and changes in soil water balance. And then we're running things in the sky. We're running a UAV or, or what's commonly called a drone, which it, I think is about to take off right there, it sounds like. We put that up in the sky and we'll measure canopy cover and canopy temperature, uh, multispectral reflectance. Uh, so we're measuring a lot of different things that, that tell us uh, different parts of the story of how much water is being used. The more water your plant's gonna use, the, the more yield you have. What we're trying to do is, is find a point above that where you're actually getting more yield per water used or more crop per drop. I wouldn't say most farmers, their ultimate goal is to have the highest water use efficiency. Really, their goal at the end of the day is to make money. Um, but sometimes if you're in the reality of having less water, this might be a tool that can help you get to that goal. That's really what we're shooting for. Here, you can put them down further on the plant. Uh, anywhere you want to know the water status of that part of the plant? I did. You can have too much water, right? And then you're just wasting it. Uh, and, and so you want to have just enough for it to be happy. But periodically, especially late in the season, you often want to give it uh, less water to stress it some so that it knows to respond and make more chemicals that increase the flavor of, of, the, of the grapes or the tomatoes. You put these sensors on here, and you just say, what water potential do you want to maintain? And then the irrigation will do that no matter if you get a cloudy weekend or a hot spell coming through. Any climate change stuff, it, it'll automatically uh, adapt to. It clips and let it snap on there with the magnets and you 